Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, the only place where you can get your daily tech report, tips and tricks on hardware and software, and also don't forget about the geeky related topics. Now, uh, like always, every Tuesday is all about Office 2013, and I'm going to continue on my Outlook 2013 videos. And today is one of those major topics that uh, needs to be uh, done. Now, what's the first thing that you need to learn when you're using Outlook? That's what? Reading mail. How to read mail. How to navigate through Outlook so you get yourself familiar to continue working. Now, as you can see, I'm already in the calendar portion, but at the very bottom right here, you have multiple options to go to where you want. Most likely, this is where we want to go, is the mail. So when you click on mail, it's going to take you to the mail portion of Outlook. Uh, Outlook is normally broken down into four parts or three parts depending on how you change the view now for me I have it broken down into four parts on the leftmost uh, side of Outlook this is where you have your inbox your outgoing all the folder sculpture, sculpture that you have now depending if you attach multiple accounts you will see all your accounts for me I only have one account hooked up to my Outlook and that's my Gmail account so I'm gonna work with this one in the middle of the Outlook is your main your main thing. This is where you uh, see all your emails. This is your inbox, and this is where you read your your email. Uh, at the right side, you got your calendar, and then you got your favorites, and then you got your tasks. Okay. Now, I want you guys to notice something. You see this little number two. This number two a lot tells you that you have about two emails that haven't been read. Now, Outlook 2003, the way they did it is then nice little colored it's blue uh, they put a nice little bar indicating that it hasn't been read as you can see other emails around uh, these emails haven't been read like this one's not been read this one hasn't been read the other ones don't have the blue bar so that means I already read them now the flag right here basically says that it, normally it's a follow-up I have to follow up with these flags uh, these are basically my video ideas this is where I get my video ideas from now back to the inbox. Now, within the inbox, there's a lot of emails that tell you different things. As you can see, this little email right here with a purple arrow pointing to the left, that's basically saying that I replied or forwarded the email already. So that's pretty cool. Also, within other emails, you should see like calendar little icons. That little calendar icon basically identifies that it is in a calendar invite. Uh, you're also going to see an email with a little bell. The bell indicates that it is a, um, a schedule time event that's going to be, uh, it's going to notify you when the event is coming. Also, I want you guys to notice that within here, I'm going to click on a YouTube one. And as you can see, uh, Outlook is very, uh, they kind of lock down their stuff. So this been this has always been an issue with Outlook that you normally get the X uh, because of the security features that Outlook has. It doesn't allow certain images to be downloaded because it wants to keep you secure. But it does give you an option to download the images just to protect your privacy. So you can actually click on this and download the photo and it will download whatever photo the email has. I want you guys to always also pay attention right here at the very bottom right here this is like your history that keeps track of all your emails so if you've been contacting an individual back and forth this right here will tell you everything that's been happening with this email rather than searching around for one particular email if you could just find one email that you dealt with the person in the past you can actually go down here and it will show you everything now if you have like a LinkedIn or Facebook account active or hooked up to your Outlook 2013, most likely you would see uh, people's faces here. Also, you got different tabs right here on the side, like what's new. What's new, I really don't have much here. The mail, all the mails that are corresponded to this particular email address. Any attachments that are attached to that. And let's see if I could find an email with an attachment so I could show you guys how that looks because it's pretty cool. Because uh, it gives you a list of all the attachments that the email is attached to so that's pretty cool I don't have any now any meetings that are associated with this email account it gives you everything right there which is pretty cool now 
if you have an email, one thing I like about e uh, Outlook 2013 is that a lot of people can't hardly see at all and they can't really read this fine, fine print. So right here, Outlook allows you to slide and zoom in the text, which is pretty cool. You can make it as big as you want. I think the default, depending on the size of your monitor, uh, it would be 100%, not 100. Again, it really depends on the dimensions of your, your screen. But uh, by default, I think it should be 100%. Now, another cool thing that you could do is rather than reading it here, you can actually just see, and I just got an email. So that's pretty cool. This is another thing that I like about Outlook 2013. I know back then the notifications used to be at the bottom, and now it's at the top of it. So I'm kind of excited about that. That's pretty cool. And it gives you that nice little ding. <laughs> Also, another cool thing is if you double click on the email, you can actually have uh, its own window if you don't want to work here. Again, all the features that you could do in this window, you can actually do it over here. You know, you could reply, reply all, you could forward it, you could basically do whatever you want. Again, the purple arrow pointing to the left normally identifies that it's a reply or a reply all, and the blue arrow pointing to the right is normally if you forward the email. These identifications, you would normally see them in this little area, but I haven't done a lot of reply or forwarding lately, so you won't see it as much. That's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this uh, Outlook 2013 video. And uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, please leave comments right below. I will put all my notes at the description part so you guys can go check it out. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out! Oh, 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 oh.